Well, this is the end of the year for 2021. You can see here, all these wonderful Cattleyas are flowering in December. December is like probably the best time of the year to see a lot of great species like Cattleya Percivaliana here on the right and over on the left, we have Cattleya trianae. A lot of the different color forms, the tetraploid ones that you see down here, albas, semi-albas, some of the higher darker colored forms like uh, Sangre de Toro here. These are kind of plants that I've selected over many years for the quality of their flowers or their uniqueness. Some of these Percivalianas are the biggest ones we've ever seen. Just giant, giant plants. This one's still opening. Uh, the flowers can be up to seven inches across on these Percivalianas, which is much larger than you'd find uh, with the ones that come from uh, jungle areas. And the fragrance is great. The Percivalianas, to me, they have a scent of tangerine-like scent uh, or citrus. And the tree and eyes have a much more floral scent. They vary too, depending on the color form or the variety, but it's just a really nice heavenly scent. More Cattleya Percivalianas. You can see all the color forms here. So these are the more normal color forms that you see like this, but these are nice select plants. Here's the Alba one called Christmas Cheer. And uh, then we have a Cerulea, a blue one over here. And that's called Ondine. It's a pale lavender indigo. Um, and under certain light conditions, it'll look bluer than what you see here. This is another plant that blooms during the winter, usually in December, January, somewhere there, sometimes late November. And these are Catlia walkerianas, which are from Brazil. Um, we find that they bloom heaviest between December and January. And there are a lot of color forms, like there's some pure albas here that you see like this. There's some alba walkeriana here. This is an award one called Tokyo Number no. One. It's got a silver medal from the Japan Orchid Growers Association. And then there are some of uh, the ceruleas too, or the so-called blues. And they can be dark like these that you see here. These are tetraploids. Or they can be lighter in color like these. Some of the uh, walkerannas can have, now these are on side of fading now but they can have more of a a splash petal effect in them like this a striata the fragrance on these is really wonderful they're pretty easy to grow but they do need high light they'd like to be outside in the summertime um, they do typically have a dry rest in the winter so I water them a little less after they're done flowering they will first of all Put up a flower spike like this and then there'll be another actual growth with leaves coming after that so it's it's like a, a one-year cycle you get the flowers and then you get a, a growth and that repeats itself over and over again so once these flowers have faded you just end up with a, a dried up stem that you can trim off and there won't be any leaves out of that stem it, it looks like this actually Here's one that flowered the year before. And you can see that this growth came just after that. And then this growth now at the base has its next flowering going on now. Looks like that. So the flowers last, oh, a good, I would say six weeks, sometimes eight on these. They have very heavy substance and they're nice and compact. It makes it a great plant if you have good light. Okay, so here's a bunch of the Cattleyas that we have hanging, which is a great way to grow these. And as you can see, they're overgrown. We had trouble getting potting mixes this year because of transportation issues with getting containers, of either moss or bark in from New Zealand. So the main thing with these tree and eyes and Percivalianas and the winter bloomers is you shouldn't repot them until spring when you see new growth and new roots. Some that are hanging out way over the edge like this, you can clip off those 
three or four growths and pot them just as they are by getting the roots moist, getting them flexible, and putting them back into a, a new pot. But generally, it's better to wait till spring. Um, the other thing about all these winter blooming cattleyas is they have to go into a shorter daylight period in order to flower. So you got to get below 12 hours of light starting about mid-November all the way up until um, end of December, mid-January, somewhere in there. They need that shorter period to encourage the flowers to come out. If they get artificial light uh, during that period, they will not flower often. They'll abort their flowers or they just won't come out and you'll end up having to wait another year for that cycle to continue. These are Cattleya quadricolors. Uh, there's some really nice select clones here. This one is called Ellie. It's got an award of merit from the American Orchid Society. The main feature about Cattleya quadricolor is that it is a somewhat more cupped flower and that's normal for this particular species. It has been used in hybrids and it does make some nice hybrids. There's some other color variants as well, like this one, which is called Caribbean Fantasy. And then this variety over here, which is called Select AX. It's really an interesting lighter colored form. This is Cattleya Decari Cerulea, which is very similar to Skinneri. It's a bifoliate, you know, two leaves on growth, sometimes three, but mostly two and it flowers now in the fall. The normal decori is, of course, pink and purple. Uh, the blue one is, I think, really fantastic. Skinneri, which has similar flowers, blooms in the spring. So it's nice to have these varieties that bloom at different times of year. This is Cattleya Carol Easton, and it's a variety Saniata. It's uh, actually a, a tetraploid. And it really gets a lot of flowers. The plant is very floriferous. Really a strong grower with big bulbs and stiff upright leaves. And this is just a little view of some of the things we have here in December and things that can be grown uh, for this time of period. Cattleyas are not the longest lasting flowers. You'll typically get anywhere between three to eight weeks on, on most cattleyas but they really put on a great show and the fragrance is really quite heavenly.